Okay, everybody, I just wanted to do a quick update video of where I am on the van. I've got some pretty slick cabinets put in back here. These cabinets are all made out of dog-eared fence treated pine to look like cedar. I did put some shellac on it, but I figured, I don't know, I just, I'm so cheap, I wanted to go the cheapest way. I went into Home Depot and I saw that plywood was like $60 or $65 a sheet for half inch sanded plywood. And being the cheap person I am, I kind of freaked out and looked for alternatives. This stuff ended up being pretty darn hard to work with because it was still wet and it's drying, it's trying to cup and warp and bend, and it already came like warped and bent. So I had to do a lot of straightening. Turned out to be a big pain in the ass. This only costed me $15 because I've got used 2x4s and stuff inside of there, but it would have been a lot easier just using that plywood. I think my time saved would have been worth it. As far as the set power fridge, it did come damaged, but it's working really well. I've got it set at 38 degrees, and it fluctuates between 38 and 42, 37 and 42, something like that. But this bed frame, I've got nothing into this. That was all um, repurposed wood as well. Wood that I found on the boulevard and stuff like that. This right here that has the two 12 volt batteries in it and has all of my like inverter and um, solar stuff mounted on the side of it. This I got for free on the boulevard also. So yeah, it's turning out good. I ordered a, a four drawer dresser. It should probably come up to about there and it's supposed to fit in between the back there. It's a Sterlite brand. They have those at Walmart, but Walmart only has the three drawer Sterlites. So I wanted the four drawer because I can't stack two of them or it would be too tall. I've got some other stuff on order on Amazon. I've got my cooktop on order. Well, actually I haven't clicked the button yet, but it's in my cart. And I've got some other stuff in my cart. I need to figure out how to light this up a little bit better too because the dome light and these lights work and these lights work, but they're hooked up to the ignition. The ignition has to be on or it has to be keyed back and that runs off the van battery and I don't want to use the van battery. So I've got to figure out something different for lighting, possibly some LED strips that I can tuck underneath here I think would look really nice. I definitely still need to do something with the windows because I can't black anything out. And also I still, I've got a lot of room up there. I know there's a bunch of stuff that I'm missing that I need to add to this. I do have four 100 watt solar panels. That's a lot for this van. That's going to work out to be plenty. And if it's not, I'll just have to get a DC to DC charger, which I'm hoping I won't have to do. I also have a lithium iron phosphate prismatic cell battery coming from China and a DALI 200 watt BMS, smart BMS. I've heard the smart BMSs can be a little finicky, so after I ordered it, I kind of wished I would have just got a regular Dali BMS made for lithium iron phosphate. That would have been so much easier. But yeah, I'm happy with everything so far. Altogether, I've got $1,500 into the solar. And well, this and that, I, that's nothing, maybe. $20, $30. Well, you got to figure. I mean, screws and stuff add up too at six bucks a box. And I think I bought a couple boxes of screws, so that's like $12. I'm trying to keep this thing cheap, but I needed a fridge and I needed solar. And the reason I got four solar panels because I've got two running in series and then those two in parallel. So if a three would have been an oddball number, it would have, it was either 200 watts or 400 watts. So yeah, I mean, I need to get that ordered from Amazon. I've got my Lugaloo. I've got my water. I just need a watered spigot. I'm going to order that cooktop, and I think I'm just going to use the one pound propane. I, I know one pounders are a waste, but I'm going to use that one pound propane tank for, for now. So yeah, I just thought maybe you guys were interested in... How everything was coming so far as far as the e-bike i did go for an e-bike ride today i love the e-bike but i don't have anybody to ride with so 
it gets kind of boring just going out riding by yourself all the time. And I've explored pretty much everywhere there is to explore around here. Now there's no way I'm going to be able to bring that e-bike along with. I could get a rack on the back and tow it behind, but I think I'd be better off getting a rack to store more stuff that I bring within this van. But yeah, anyways, video's getting kind of long, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.